Hi guys, Ramon Goose here. We're going to be talking about my basic um, sort of sound that I sort of really go for. Um, I, I mean, I've got here some Dumble sort of clones, but really, if really my tone has sort of evolved so that you know, if I'm using a hired amp or something like that, I can just take a few pedals and uh, I'll just show you what I kind of I go for, which is, you know, for me it doesn't really matter about what pedal or what amp. It's kind of I kind of go for the same thing every time, and it might help you for those struggling to get a, a good sound. Um, so obviously, I'm using quite a hard plectrum, but I have a soft attack, but I can also hit hard as well. But the hard plectrum just gives me um, some dynamics there. Um, pickups, I tend to roll the tone off. I'm quite into the capacitor and rolling the tone off. That sort of helps, especially on this big, this guitar here, which has got a diamond. Vintage diamond and it's got to go fall in the neck. Um, but my basic sound is nice and trebly. Um, so I'm really looking for that high end. But not too much, you know, not too harsh. I think when you have a harsh amp, then you've got to, you know, get it into compression, especially a valve amp. It needs to go into compression before it sounds nice. So I'm looking for a valve amp. Um, low, this is a deluxe reverb sort of style amp set up here. Um, tweed, sorry. Um, and, you know, it's a simple sound. Okay, so to that, I'm going to add some reverb. And I really like spring reverb. Back in the day with the doubles sort of style amps, it used to be um, hall reverbs, but I'm really into just um, a spring reverb. You know, not too much, just enough to give me a bit of a splash there. Then, really important here is the slap back delay. I'm using a Neko Nugget here, but you can use a cheap pedal, an analog boss or something like that, it doesn't matter, it's not important. The, the fact is you use a nice kind of analog style slapback delay and that's going to give you that kind of Sun Studio sort of vibe, you know. Which is kind of almost a reverb in itself. I mean you could dial out your spring reverb. You don't even need it. But I just like to have a little bit of a splash like I said of of reverb. Now that is my basic tone. So a bit of reverb, slapback delay, that's what I use all the time. Okay, it doesn't matter if I'm using some other effects, that will be my basic tone. Okay, so then to that I'm gonna use a tube screamer style pedal. Um, I have the drive really low and the level not you know some people like to boost the level and smack the amp in the preamp. I don't do that. I keep things pretty chilled out. Um, so this is my overdrive tone, and it's just any kind of tube screamer style pedal, really, with the slap back. Now, I don't tend to really solo on, on the, the neck pickup, which would be... You know, I really like to solo on the, the bridge pickup. You know, that's the kind of sound I like, you know. I know some people, they love the creamy sound, the kind of Clapton thing. Um, but for me, I, I like to solo on the back pickup. That's kind of, that like Sun Studios, real beautiful slap back. Roll off, bit of the treble off. my sort of vibe. Okay, to that, if I was playing clean, um, now on clean channel I do use the neck a lot, and I put a, a longer delay, I stack a longer delay onto the slap back, so you get this kind of effect. spacey sort of effect. Um, I do use a, a lot of tremolo. This is tremolo from a pedal called the Carl Martin Surf Trem. And also
also the other effect that I use is a um, I use a fuzz, but I only ever use a fuzz with that longer delay that I played earlier. So I'll give you an example of that. Put the volume down a little bit. If I'm using the fuzz as more of an effect, I may actually use it with the um, with just a slap back. I'll give you an example of that. You know, but it's not. I'm not really using it in a kind of a soloing sort of style. So that's really it. That's that's my tone boiled down. It's really very 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 simple. It's really the way you pick the guitar, the way you you play, the, the touch you have. That's gonna you know if, you, if if you're not really enjoying your sound, then maybe just change your plectrum or your touch or your feel on your fingers. We're going to talk about that in some other videos. So that's just some tone tips. That's my rig. Keep it simple. Speak soon. See you soon.